Sa Pilipinas, naibalitang tatlo na ang namamatay dahil sa Meningo Coxem. Meningococcemia is a rare infection caused by the necessarian meningitis bacteria. This is the type of bacteria that can cause meningitis. When the bacteria infect the membranes that cover the brain and spinal cord, it's called meningitis. But when the infection remains in the blood but doesn't infect the brain or spinal cord, it's called meningococcemia. Whether it becomes meningitis or meningococcemia is considered a medical emergency and requires immediate medical attention. The bacteria that cause meningococcemia can live harmlessly in your upper respiratory tract. Simply being exposed to this germ isn't enough to cause disease. According to the research, up to 10% of people may carry this bacteria. Fewer than 1% of those carriers become sick. A person with this infection can spread the bacteria through coughing and sneezing. The symptoms of meningococcemia include the following. First, rashes. Rashes associated with meningococcemia are purple and unlike other rashes, do not turn white when pressure is applied. High fever, headache, stiff neck, drowsiness, dizziness, convulsions, vomiting, and coughing. Children are more vulnerable to the diseases because of their low resistance to the bacteria. Meningococcemia must be treated immediately. You'll be admitted to the hospital and possibly kept in an isolated room to stop the bacteria from spreading. You'll be given antibiotics to begin fighting the infection. You may also receive intravenous fluids. Other treatments depend on the symptoms you've developed. Practicing healthy hygiene can decrease the risk of infection. This includes washing hands thoroughly and covering your mouth and nose when sneezing and coughing. You can also help reduce your risk of infection by avoiding people who are coughing, sneezing, or showing other signs of illness. Also, don't share personal items with people who are sick. This means not sharing anything that comes into contact with the mouth unless it's been washed after it was last used. If you've been exposed to a person who is infected, your doctor may recommend preventive antibiotics. This will reduce your chances of getting the disease. Your doctor may recommend that you get a vaccination too. Vaccination is recommended for those at increased risk for infection, such as teenagers, college students, or people about to move into a group living situations for the first time.